This is the Cadbury Girl makeup look in the color purple. When I do moisturizer, I like to put it in the main parts of my face and blend it out like cheeks, nose, forehead, and chin. Moisturizer is super useful because it helps your face stay hydrated while doing all of this makeup. After this blended in, I'm gonna go in with some foundation. First, I'm gonna take a sponge, dip it into the bottle, and I'm gonna start with the main parts of my face, like under the eyes, chin, nose, forehead. I like to start with the point of my brush or the side and blend in with the back to make it smooth. I like to work section by section so it doesn't dry. These are just some useful tips, but if you do it a different way, that's totally fine. Whatever works for you. Now that that's done, it's time for concealer. I do this underneath my eyes and on my eyelids. I do it underneath my eyes to brighten up that area to have more contrast on stage. And I do concealer on my eyelids to make the eyeshadow pop more and, you know, just overall look better. Now it's time for powder. Powder helps set your face in place so you don't look greasy on stage and also then you don't have creases in your foundation and concealer. This might dry you out though so the moisturizer is super helpful for this. You might have to put a lot on also so you might just need to tap a bit more into the lid. Also for this make sure you're tapping off the brush in between. Basically just tap off the brush anytime you're putting a powder on your face before you put on your face so then you don't get a bunch of fallout everywhere. Now it's time for contour. While you're watching this, make sure to take note that you might need to make it a bit darker. I do have a ring light, so it makes the contour a bit lighter on me and it be a bit more washed out. When doing this, just follow the natural shadows of your face and make sure not to go down too low onto your mouth area. Just keep it high and keep it in the natural shadows. When doing nose contour, you might want to pinch your brush if you're using the same big brush. Also just same thing, just follow the natural shadows of your face and make sure to keep the same shape your norm your normally your nose is. 
you don't want to change anything. Now it's time for blush. When I do blush for this look, I like to do it in the center part of my cheeks and blend it up a little bit. If you start with the center parts of your cheeks, it will be a bit darker there and a bit more concentrated there. That's really useful for conveying the cabaret style. For this look, I'm going to be using a paper towel to wipe off my brushes. I'm going to be using black, light purple, and a shimmer. And then I'm also going to be using like a dark gray and a white. I'm going to start with a medium sized brush and wipe it off first. And then start off with that dark gray I mentioned earlier. Make sure to do this in the outer corner of your eye and kind of blend it in in the inner crease. Don't do it fully on your eyelid in the inner part because we're going to do some glitter there later, so just keep that space open for now. I'm going to go in with a puffier brush and use some of that light purple, and I'm going to blend it up on the top. Make sure you overlap with the gray a little bit so you don't go up too high and so it becomes more of a seamless blend. Now I'm going to take a smaller brush and I'm going to go in with some black in the very outside corner. This helps to create more contrast. Make sure just to do it a little bit on the outside corner and not to go too heavy with this. I'm going to go in with a small slivered brush and use some of that purple I used earlier on the underneath of my lash line. Try to blend this into the eyeshadow and don't go fully into the inner part of your eye. Just try to keep it on the outside corner. Now I'm going to go in with some purple shimmer on my lid. Try to keep this a little bit farther than the space you had prepared earlier so you can have some space to blend in the black again. When using shimmers, I like to use my finger so the glitter becomes more compact and becomes a bit brighter. I'm also going to go in with a bit of white in my inner corner just to brighten up the look. Now it's time for eyeliner. I like to do a bit of a swoop for this look starting in the outside corner and trying to keep it about the same as the eyeshadow I previously have. When doing this, I like to keep my eyes open because then if I have a crease or something or like if when I'm closing my eyes I do it a bit too far, it doesn't look wonky when I open my eyes. Might need to finick back and forth with the eyeliner. Just try to make them both symmetrical and it might take some time, but eventually you'll get there. Now I'm going to go in with some lipstick. You don't have to do this exact shade, just try to keep it somewhere in the berry to red family. Also, I'm going to do a bit of a point later on for the top of the lip part. If you don't feel like this is really your cup of tea for your lip shape, you can do something that's a bit more your lip shape and you don't have to add this part, but I do think this looks very cabaret. Now that I have the makeup done, I'll set it in place with some setting spray so it stays on for longer. And that's the makeup look. I hope this helped.